we have so many children who were not registered with the office of prime minister in the villages and in the all this process they questioned a lot to have that child to be registered into the system it takes time and we have this kind of children some even two years three years in the villages they have not assessed any other services and the mothers suffer from such kind of children to handle them to care for them to cater for them to do every services for them as a child second we at the zone we are still receiving we have so many new arrivals and we are still receiving new arrivals so as our partner Kiara C is now with us in place of uh, save the children we need more capacity building so that we help those children our communities from South Sudan that did not know the rights of children is still more special than new arrivals child exploitation is too much child labor is too much child neglect is too much so all these things that they in the villages and even single mothers who has children more than has from five above children who is taking care of that they also suffering because if I am a mother if I have more than five children under my responsibility it is not easy and our food has been reduced in the settlement family size one get only 14,000 in a month you yourself will you eat 14,000 one complete month is it right it is not right so the food is very little and it makes the heart of women to be hot with their children children in community we have been protecting them since as KRC came in we got training and we understood the right based approach that is the way we are going we so far care sensitizations in the community we have met 250 people they are people and uh, 182 are female and then uh, 58 we are male then uh, our topic that we are discussing uh, basically on the child protection issues the children in the community have been suffering so long more cases we identified but uh, sometimes it is not supported by them they have been facing challenges of shelter some need shelter more special uh, child-headed families they have no strength to look for the uh, materials for construction and also those who need medication it is also another challenge that we are been registering and also some need basic needs like clothes receiving zones within rhino camp it has a substantial number of new arrivals and uh, as we know the crisis in sudan and south sudan has led to a number of refugees being settled in the rhino camp. And some of the challenges, especially with the new arrivals, is that children, some of them are calm when they are not accompanied. Some of them are separated from their parents. So when they reach here, they have no help. And they farm, some of them are not even registered by OPM, by the Office of the Prime Minister. So they find themselves in the refugee settlement in the Eden zone. But the child protection committees support to identify such children and then link them up to the caseworkers of KRC who follow up with OPM to provide registration support to them. There are also other child protection challenges or issues. The CPCs have spoken about malnutrition, children who are not going to school. All these are child protection issues and also child labor and other forms of violence in the community. So their work is mainly to provide awareness, to prevent the abuse, to prevent um, 
violence against children, but also identify those cases of children whose rights have been violated, who have not received appropriate care, and refer them to appropriate services. We are happy to hear that under the state's project, the child protection committees have started their work. They have reached out to the communities already. They have started sensitizing and creating awareness about child protection, about prevention of violence against children. And they have also started uh, identifying the cases, especially for those who are unaccompanied, who are separated, and uh, linking them to KRC for further assessment and management. KRC, we are enhancing the aspects of uh, our protection. However, we are only concentrating in uh, gender-based violence, child protection, and the mental health and sexual support. Now, we are working with, together with other partners. When we register a case, we are able to make referrals. We have uh, our implementing partners that are handling issues of education. There are those who are handling issues of uh, livelihood, income generation. There are those which are handling issues of environment. So we are able to document a case. We always have sector working groups and uh, we are able to refer the case to other partners and then we follow it up after this conclusion. So those who require education already will have uh, secured support for the family which had around 19 children and they have been able to secure them as possible for the education. Okay. The old and new arrivals, they are one of our targets because when they are coming, they come with a lot of distress. One is to first assess, set them down, provide counseling, look at families that can be able to host them, look at how they are able to access food, access shelter. But as I said, when we are doing all that, we are trying to play a social intervention. But when it comes to issues of food, issues of education, issues of health, issues of income generation, then we work with other partners because we are not in hardware, but actually we are able to profile, document, and then be able to provide uh, counseling, guidance to how we have some plays for the children, we put them in a group so that they are able to settle down and then fit into the society.